Salvador. And yours truly, Armand. We'll start with that. Is, is it, it gay to be toxic? Yeah. Is it gay? Best way to open this fucking podcast. Julian, put it's on your fucking just... headphones, bro. Please. It's, Jesus. It's gay to say I'm toxic. Apparently. Fuck. Don't you raw dog anyway? Freestyle. <laughs> That's why he left where he was at. Because he was raw dogging too much. Ain't that right? Uh huh. Yo, Julian's we, on another planet hey, right now. Can we talk about the political? <laughs> man, shut the fuck up. Yeah, this, like, <laughs> this guy smoked yeah, one yeah, too don't many do that. blunts. But yeah, yeah, Julian, you're you're too fucked up right now, bro. I can look from your eyes. I go into the pen. You came out. Your wife left you. You, <laughs> you paying child support <laughs> for a kid that ain't yours. <laughs> yeah, and then now you found out the kid's not yours. Oh, that that'd be the most foul shit, bro. I don't even know what I would do. So mm. Like, if that was if that happened to me, I would say. You know what? I've How would you raised, combat that? I was raising this kid that wasn't mine, but I love the kid and I love you, babe, and I don't even care. Yo, if you actually said that, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you'd actually say that. Would you though. fuck with him if you said that? I could say like that's know, his man. choice, but like fuck, man, that's uh, that's don't, unfortunate. Don't that up, don't that up yeah. bit. Your hood pass is getting revoked. That's for sure. That's Shit, good. That's I, good. That's good. I'm that's good. that one in anyway. No, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <You're, laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're, you're turning in your hood pass for what? You're just too old for it now? Hey, um, what's the deal? This is what happened. I was like, I was chilling. You got to turn it in. It's like a bus pass. You know, yeah. you got to get a car. Shut the fuck up. Well, you got to renew Eventually. this shit every, every month. Once a month, you got to go in. You're like, yeah, I'm applying for a hood pass for the month. I was chilling somewhere at a party, and uh, someone was like, I said, yo, yo, this nigga did this or that. And he said, hey, you shouldn't be saying the N word, man. And I'm like, oh, shit. I was like, my bad. I'm like, my dad's black, though, right? He's like, oh, He's like, you shouldn't be saying that. I'm like, my dad's like Michael Jordan color. You know what I mean? And then he's like, <laughs> and then some, some, some like gay dude in the back popped up and he's like, and if he wants to identify as black, let him. What the <laughs> fuck? Is <this>? Where was <laughs> this? Oh man, it was at some. Was this here? Party. Yeah, that was here. Fucking hell, yeah. bro, man. We got too many liberals here. Shut your gay man. ass up back there. Yeah, get out of here. Can you with identify this? As the same black. color as Michael Jordan? Bro, that's very specific. <laughs> it's nuts. How can you identify as another race just if you want? I guess, man, if you want to identify as another race, that's what I guess. I but like you want to identify as like, let's say like some Kenyan guy. He's like 6'8", 125 pounds, can run a mile in 30 seconds. Like you're not that guy. <laughs> a mile in 30 seconds. <laughs> you're not that guy. You, know you can't even do that with a car. <laughs> Jesus, they do like what's the fastest yeah, what's the, they do a no, quarter mile like nine quarter seconds miles, like yeah they can go as low as, yeah with a regular car yeah like nine seconds like yeah. nine seconds no a quarter mile it's like less than nine seconds. no like, no but for like a regular like not a fucking top fuel oh drag, like one so. of those drag cars yeah that's yeah no, that's like yeah, those guys cars, are that's whatever 10 but, second but miles nine nine, nine seconds second miles no quarter miles bro what are you talking about no, right now, bro. Pull it up, yeah, yeah, Jamie. For, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. For, I'm talking like a regular no, they do quarter mile. Like they a Tesla do a mile. They whatever. never do a mile. Yeah. No, but if you have, but to, you just have to times it by four. So exactly. that's so what I'm saying. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. So it still wouldn't be. 30 yeah, it seconds. wouldn't. It wouldn't be. What are you doing? The math in your head or something? <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure those guys get like four second quarter miles. No, bro. The only the crazy insane. guys. Like a huh? Tesla Plaid, Tesla Plaid will do Four. it in uh, like a model. Um, Let's look this up. Model yeah, S Plaid it up, will do it like a nine seconds. This is bothering me, guys. Four this seconds is insane, bro. Yeah, it's not like regular cars, dude. Let's see. It's insane. Those are like top fuel dragsters. We'll do it in like two seconds. Those are the ones like the massive, massive wheels. And they look best like quarter cool. miles for what, though? You got to specify. No, I think it's like eight seconds, seven seconds. I you can go even... up to like seven. You can go down to seven seconds. Yeah, I think like the nuttiest. I watched this guy on YouTube. He's got an, uh, an MR2. You know what MR2 is, yeah, right? Yeah. He has an MR2, seven seconds. That's took sick. him took him three years to build that car. It's got a, like a hundred grand later. Like fuck. no, he's like one of those like guys in the south who would do it like for cheap. So it's it's kind of sketchy at times. The parts still cost. Yeah, I guess you know it, what I mean. Yeah, you know the labor I mean? is whatever, but the parts still. Cost yeah, no, a lot. the parts still cost you. Like right now, he's he's rebuilding and stuff. It's like it's like eight to ten seconds. There you go. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, you can't even. Fun. Nobody could do that. Only jet planes. And Kenyan runners. Can Kenyan your runners, bro? Kenyans can do it, bro. I just don't think you should. They that's the dumbest shit. Like, there's no logic behind that one. But like the the whole fucking uh, trans shit. It's like, I mean, I guess, man. Fuck. Where'd that come from, bro? Grab tits. <laughs> no, because he, he, he was talking about the race shit. He's like, you can't be race fluid. Yeah, 
Uh, you, man, you can identify. As are a you race fluid? Are I, you race fluid? I identify as a motherfucking pair of Air Force One. <laughs> That so identifies as like, what did you say? A, black a, for real. A lap shade? What is black this? Air Force ones. <laughs> black Air Force ones. You said a table one time. Those right? are the dirtiest ones too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Those are never clean. Yo, if you ever see somebody rocking black Air Force ones, <laughs> man, just like, don't that, fuck with them. Like, listen, if a if chick said, has black Air Force ones, that pussy ain't clean, bro. It's been Jesus. around. It's been around. Yo, Julian, come come Hold in on. more. This this chair just switched up on me. It's uh, There's a there's a rod there's a on the hook. left. On the left? No, on the left, not the right. And you can pull that in or out. And you that, keep saying your left to your right, and he does. He thinks it's his left. Don't worry about him, right. man. He's fucked either way. This is how Mexican give directions, bro. Just opposites. No, it's the other one. It's the other one. The other one. Yeah, that one. You stick that one in or out to the chair. Someone got some visor for you. this guy, or what? No, I want, I want, <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. You can take time out of this guy. Eyes are fucking <laughs> redder than the devil's dick. No, that's cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this guy's eyes are Mars, massive. man. Yeah. You can't have your eyes and your skin tone be the same color. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Okay. It just clicked though when I was. Oh, that might be something else. You might have broke it. Yeah. That's different. Uh, you have to get like, You owe me one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You owe us a chair. Okay, we'll send you the bill. One twenty-five ninety-nine. In America, <laughs> or or you can get it from Alibaba for like five bucks, but it's like four hundred pieces. You These gotta chairs, glue it back together. I'll get them in bulk and then be an Amazon seller. Coach. I heard that shit sucks. Is that shit still bumping or no? It's only bumping if you put time into it. Otherwise, it sucks. So like it's like anything else, basically. <laughs> no, but it, it's no, it's, it's like true. a multiplier. The thing with that, it's like it's it's twenty four seven. It's online. It's, online. it's well, it's not like how people sell it because they'll sell it. Like, uh, it's a passive income, and you only need like two hours a week. It's like, no, dude, fuck you. Got to put in time. You need to put no fucking word. time into this. There's no do you way. You want to make ten G's a month and yeah. do nothing? Exactly. Yeah. Like, exactly. The, fuck the, up, the amount of ads I've seen about that shit. Yeah. Fuck you, man. You're full of shit. I think one reason our generation is lazy is because there's so much of that shit now. Yeah, it's, it's so prevalent. Bro, there are so many people that are fucking retards with that shit where they think they're like, I'm going to go on stream. I'm like, who the fuck wants to watch you play video games, dude? Like, yeah. you're not that good. Yeah. We came across a chick yesterday. Yesterday. And yeah. uh, she's like, she came across OK. And then later, Hector showed like Hector went oh, into her profile. Show her. Show there, her there was this one video. Of no, it was just a some photo. dude. It's a photo pissing in her mouth it's like a picture of a video wasn't her and it yeah. wasn't a video but it was like a meme and she's like the caption's like could this be us or some shit i'm like dude what the fuck jesus like, christ bro pull it up pull it was, it up. i'm not gonna pull it up it's so much work bro fuck all that Takes two pull it up yeah. I, send, I send you like two messages a day so like why don't you just start a only fans and just get it over with she probably does bro she's probably a hoe that was her that's her twitter you just never know who has only fans nowadays that's savage dude that's, That's foul. super savage. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, get, get that, that away from me, bro. <laughs> That's just not halal, man. Julian, want, see, Julian wants it, though. My virgin eyes, Send it man. to Julian. Julian wants that. That looks like what her, bro. It? It's not her. It's not her. I'm that, good on that. That looks like her, it's bro. It's not. It's not. It's like some meme or some shit you found on the internet. You should send her that shit. Be like, that, that could be us, but you're playing. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Julian's like, yo, I did this fucking last night. Man. Yo, if a girl does drink your piss... She, she loves like, you. <laughs> <laughs> do you actually Jesus. like? Do you respect that, or what? What? What goes through your mind when, when a girl oh, does that? I don't even know. You'll do it, and then you're like, "Oh, I can't believe you did that." Yeah. No, but Julian, what you? What you think? Like, it, let's say a girl gives you just that the best, and then just the morning of, she, you just piss in her mouth. Yeah, I can't fuck with that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's like no. <laughs> the thing is, there's certain things you talk about, and certain things you don't talk Man, about. Man, shut the fuck yeah, up. Get out of here, guy. fucking. <laughs> PC guys, police. This guy's out here last time talking about I need a cock reduction. This guy's doing like <laughs> that's fair, that's three fair. abortions a week in Mexico, bro. Jesus. Please. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> you told us. <laughs> On the pod, too. Like, yo, guess what's happening this Julian's week? Julian's like, my only protection is this. <laughs> Just fucking draws a cross. Like, <laughs> no, uh, I'm good. All, all jokes aside, it's not what you think, you know, like, you think you're just out there running around and doing stuff like that. But most of the time, a guy like me just have one girlfriend. You know? Okay, yo, yo, yo that bro, shit you're stop. doing right now, <laughs> stop it. You've done this before. And, we know, can see patterns that here. That shit you're doing, stop it. Yeah, bro. We, we, <laughs> we can see patterns I love here. Call, he just calls that out right away. He's like, no. I could smell it. See what I mean? Fuck, man. So, Julian, when are you going to go to Korea, man? Um... I'm actually going to go to like 
uh, some Asian countries yeah. next month. Actually? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Which well, ones? Where one? Which I, ones? Vietnam. I want to find out where Armin's, like, Armand's, like, obsession with these Koreans came from. What did they do to you? Yeah. What happened? Bro, you want to tell you? Must have I'll tell you right now. You got to take this one. Okay? If I take the best five experiences that I had with bitches, it's every single one is a Korean chick. And this is why. In what way? They'll fuck you. They'll suck you. They'll buy you food. They'll fucking clean your house. The morning okay. of, they'll make you breakfast. They'll go say what's up to your mom. They'll bring her flowers and shit. Bro, they do all that shit. And you don't have to ask nothing. It's like they, it's like they're pre-programmed. It's like getting a canine that's already smart as fuck. You just at, picked it up from training school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got, it was like a Jesus. bomb sniffer dog. Yeah. It's like a bomb sniffer dog that retired. And it's overqualified. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> it's, you just adopt it to be your yeah, pet. But yeah. this thing's like a fucking surgeon almost. Yeah. It so sense. it just makes your life so much easier, yeah. bro. It just makes it easier. But they don't. They're just plus not, they're submissive as fuck. Like yeah, they'll, they'll but they're just not like juicy like that. You know what I mean? But they, I know what you. I know. No, what I know you what you mean. Like the only difference yeah. between the Asian guy and the girl is like the long hair. Almost it seems like to me. I, I've some of them. Some of them you know work I mean? out and shit. They got. They got ass. But yeah, you can't compare her with like some Peruvian chick or some Colombian chick with a fat ass from seven ancestors ago like mm. she's got that shit in her jeans bro i forgot how foul you guys actually were for a second <laughs> it's like it's right when this guy put his glasses on he just got he just right like, into character he transformed dark energy right into yeah. character my guy Come on, dude. Right into i it. just hide it to be right like you it. know get more friends because you can't you can't be acting like this 24 7 bro yeah. can you imagine going to work and being like this no but you get fired you, first you know day. that shit that you just said that's what Lamar's friends think of us yeah. when we chill with yeah. them. They're like, these guys are fucked. Like, are you serious? I, I stopped doing that. I stopped uh, doing I, what? I stopped rolling up. Uh, you see how we roll in foul like that? Yeah. Well, actually, I sometimes do that. If I get too drunk or something somewhere, then I'll start just getting like that. Right. Then- At a certain point, you got to like, uh, I think you got to just grow up certain words. You can't be saying like, Dog, that's sick at like 52. Like, you just can't be saying these words. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, but sometimes like, uh, I feel, you know what it is? Time yeah. and a place. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like to like, like be able to morph between that and normal, you know? Like, I could go with some young spring breakers and be like, that's lit, bro. And then go with some old people and be like, you know, what? I think this. Do you guys have like a professional voice? No, I don't. Like I, a work, I think like Julian a does though. Like I a think, work voice, a uh, little bit, but you know it's not like mean? it's not really a voice. It's more like a mannerism. It's just you're just yeah. more like, yeah, yeah, how you doing and shit. But I'm not like, like, hey, sir. Look at the <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're not like a jester, yeah. but yeah. Willy Wonka from the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. You'll That's see, how I do it. <laughs> you'll see these, you'll see these reels, right, where it's like somebody posting about like a teacher, and then they clip to it and like, I just saw this person like fucking like knee deep in like some bullshit last week. Yeah. Drinking or whatever heavy. And then you see them like talking to Have kids. Have you seen that one guy, the reporter where the like the fly flies into his mouth? The black guy? No. <laughs> oh, <man>. He's like, <laughs> he's like this. we're here live. I'm fucking and blah, 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 blah. he's talking like that. And then as he's talking, like it's like windy and shit. A fly flies in, my, in his mouth and Jesus. he just flips to like ghetto right away. Oh, really? like, like, man, I got this motherfucking fly in my motherfucking mouth. This shit's going off. It's so funny. Like literally Fuck. instantly. I feel like, like that's the biggest difference. He was a news guy, you said, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They you put have on to be. A, that's an actual voice, right? Yeah. But that's the fakest thing. Like, I, I think those guys can't sleep at night. What do you like, mean? What? I... Cause what? Those you know guys, guys, those guys have to. That those guy's guys have to act. At night just counting paper like this. He's like, yeah. No, no, no. They don't, get paid, they don't get paid. They don't get paid like what you think. Some of those guys in the states do, but like over here, if you're doing that shit, like News Eleven Thirty or some shit, you're anchor there. You're like, you're not getting paid like what you think. What do you mean can't sleep at night? What the fuck? Well, you're just spewing fucking bullshit, it's right? It's not bullshit. You're just a voice actor. No, no, especially what? among... No, no, no. I'm talking about... Uh, he's talking about the news. I'm yeah. talking about like Fox News. Imagine you're an anchor on oh, Fox yeah, News. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're just spewing bullshit. Like some what bullshit. they think. Yeah, yeah but some think. of those guys oh, yeah. believe that shit. It's true. That's true. So they sleep pretty Yeah, but I think most of them, like, they, they probably know about it. You know? They do. You know, like, you gotta know. If you're, so you know, if that, you know about it, you know it's not real. You know it's just... It's, it's yeah. profitable, but it's not real. You've seen the thing where, like, all the news channels were all showing same, the same, 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 same shit. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that one, too. So it's yeah. like, that's exactly what you're saying. They're just saying the script. So it's they're, like, yeah, they're actors. Yeah. You want to do the yeah. script or not? So yeah. if I had to do that, going back to my point, for a circle, if I had to do that, I wouldn't be able to, like, really sleep. Cause I'm yeah, just but like, that's you. There's people that are, like, spineless. Like, 
Yeah. There's whores that suck dick for a living and they go to sleep fine. You know what I mean? It's just the difference in people. Comparing are. newscasters to whores. <laughs> but they, yo, are. they are. Two they're both, like they're both they the are. same. They both do the same thing. They both do the same shit. Well, Julian's like, One of them's just fuck. honest about what they do. That's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> Julian's looking for new commercials, guys. <laughs> he's he's, he's trying to fill in a 25 I'm gonna, I'm gonna to 35. I'm going to ruin this guy's career. Like, you're just going to be like, your friend, you know that guy? <laughs> hey, you don't yo, know you You're going to get blacklisted. Yeah, right, there. right here. Oh, right there. You know this fucking guy? Yeah, you're out. Yeah, funny but polite. Funny but polite. On some Danny Masters shit. <laughs> yeah, right. Did you guys hear see about that? Masterson. The, Masterson. Masterson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got 30 to life. Well, did you see the fucking character letters that his friends wrote for him and shit? Yeah, they You know what the funny part they, is? Is Ash, Ashton Ashley Kutcher, Kutcher and his wife. And Mila Kunis, yeah. No, but they're on... Like, uh, he was the CEO or some shit of, like, some... No, they're Scientologists. No, I know, them. but, like, it was on some, like... Uh, Oh yeah, he organization to stop child, child trafficking, child yeah, trafficking, yeah, yeah, which yeah. makes me think you are child trafficking, because like there's a lot like if you look at any pedophiles, like a mm. lot of them, where do they like operate at? They're like Boy Scouts, right, and shit like that, right? Because it's like sheep, it's like a wolf in sheep's clothing kind of thing. I guess, but that's that's also pretty cynical, right? Because at that point, you may as well think everybody who's ever run an anti anything organization is also doing the thing. Which Not is anybody, up. but he's got like. Mila Kunis was talking about when she did the 70s show. Uh, yeah, he was, she was like 14 and Ashton Kutcher was like 20 or some shit. But he was dating the other way because he was dating Demi Moore. And she was 42 while he no, was but like they 47. Were, she, they were talking about making no, out no, and shit. Either, either if they do it or on not, set. they're more sus than someone that's nothing to do with it at all. Like you see, like if they're like, thanks, Ryan. Yeah, no worries. If they're like, uh, if they're doing anti that, they're more sus than someone that, than, uh, than people not doing anti at all. Well, that's what I was saying. Like that's it's just like, a, that's, you'll look into it. Are that's doing su- it? that's super cynical, you know I mean? right? Cuz at that point you may as well just think that everybody who's ever made a but good organization they gotta get is looked against at. it. They're, they're, they're the I ones, guess. They but if I wanted to like hey, let's say if, if I wanted to start a crack line, what better place than to go work at a rehab place? It's I true. get all my clients right there. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Like yeah. you just go there. You go to the source. Yeah, yeah. you go to where they're coming at. Where they're weakest. I mean? Yeah, that's true. You go to the source. I don't know, Doug. I I just don't think you can get into those circles. Not not uh, unless you do some foul shit. I you have. I think you. Those guys have like uh, they have like initiations and shit too. Hundred like, percent. So uh, those guys just by association. Like if you see like you know, uh, Tom Cruise hanging out with whoever the fuck, and that's a new uh, like actor actress. You know that they have to be. Well, if you look at that. like uh, fraternities, that's what they really are. It's just yeah, kind of exactly. like training you to do that, right? You do it in high school. They do it in college, and then. You join like a Freemasonic lodge, and then there's different like groups within that, right? That mm-hmm. are into different things. So it's like you kind of teach them like, like even like Philadelphia, it's the city of brotherly love. They they say whatever, right? But it's not like the like the brotherly love you think of. It's the brotherhood of the Masons. Is that what that is? Yeah. Interesting. Shaw, why don't you join a masonry? I actually got asked to, but I'm like, fuck there's that one shit. In, there's one in Poco. There's a lodge in Yeah, Poco. there's one guy right actually. Shaughnessy. Right off Shaughnessy. So he, he he came and he asked me. He's like, oh, we're doing this thing like back to school for kids for like that are like broke. The family, they don't got money. Would you guys be down to get your guys like one day to do f- free haircuts for little oh, kids? Oh, yeah, yeah. So he approached you to do a thing, not yeah. to become one of them. Yeah, but yeah. Free so I did it and then it was all good. And then I, I was like talking to him and then he's like, oh, duh. You know what I mean? He's wearing a, and he points at his hat and he's it was like a Mason. He's like, I'm like, he's like, you know what that is? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm like, I actually know somebody that's in it. This Persian kid I know, he's like in it in like the the West Van Lodge. And then we were like talking and he's like, yeah, you should come in. Like he's like, come to one of like the little meetings. You don't gotta like, we're just gonna be chilling, having some drinks and just yeah, hanging yeah, out yeah. kind of thing. Come check it out. I was like, all right, like thank you, but Julie. no thank you kind of shit. You should do it, man. And you should, you should do it. For a few weeks and then come back on this podcast and tell us all about it. Yeah, just snitch him out. Fuck it. That might well, be your big break. You don't even need me to do it. You can go on YouTube. There's no, but it's not the same, the man. What? Am I going to. But like, they're not going to tell your secrets in two weeks. <laughs> well, <laughs> what is... so this, you're like, are you down? You're like, yeah. The guy's like, listen, man. And he just like drops it off. Oh, you, you. got to be a how high... naive Hector is. You know, I need him to be a high achiever, man. Get some intel and come back and give us some juicy shit. No, bro, take, this guy, this guy read People's Magazine one day and he thought he, he figured it all out. Bro, I'm trying to get some fucking content for the podcast. Like, fuck me for thinking of No, but like, shit. even with those guys, it, it, it goes like level by level. No, I know. I know. I've... There's there's 33 levels of Freemasonry, right? Oh, that's and a each... lot. That's more than I knew. Yeah. And each one you go up. 
you, they do like a there's an initiation ceremony and then yep you just go up and up and up and then as you go up they reveal more shit to you right right it's like scientology pretty it's much like oh well yeah in yes the sense and of no. like the progression keep that, keep yeah the that. progression we have one here but the reason they do that is because there's you have 33 uh vertebrates in your spinal column till you what? reach your brain so in, at least they're mathematic about it yeah so they're like after you reach the 33rd degree you reach enlightenment right and then they tell you what it's really about which yeah, is like, but like worshiping lucifer what is it actually no yeah it's very high no it's not because they talk about you should be you should have God and like some kind of spirituality. Yeah, but it's not the God that me and you are thinking of. It's you know what I mean. It's a no, but their requ- their requirement they, they don't, for being they a don't really call it God. They no, call no, it no, the they grand don't. architect. Well, they they talk about like you should have spirituality in your life. Yeah, but like, it, they don't. It they depends don't, how you are doing it. They don't like taking mean? atheists on. I think you guys can both be right. Like, uh, you could be spiritually and his his his. No, fact it goes could still back to like uh, it, it is Luciferian in a way where. They're, the way that they believe is like it goes back to like uh, like Greek and then like Roman mythology where Prometheus, he was the guy who gave humanity like fire. Yes. So he stole fire from the gods yes. and he gave it to to, to Correct. human beings. Correct. Right. Yep. So it's, to them, Lucifer is the light bearer. So it's Prometheus who gave light to humanity, who evolved us from like animals to like making, you know what I mean? I'm going to be looking at this tonight. I'm going to message you later. Damn, you bro. know what I'll be doing. You got you got Hector stumbled. I've never seen no, him you be, stumbled you be about religion. And I'm like, all right. Are you know interested in shit like that? Of course. I've he watched, goes to the Catholic Church, I've, bro. Yeah, but I've also I also like to just study things. And yeah. the Freemasonry thing, I've looked at documentaries before, but more about the history and how they form, not this. Like what you're talking about is like very specific on like Yeah, like levels. even the Statue of Liberty, you you notice it's holding the fire, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah, so that, that Prometheus thing, it comes even like Zoroastrianism. With, is with fire, right? They they worship. They're like fire worshippers exactly. and sun worshippers. Yeah, exactly. Which mm. comes like it roots from that, and it became a religion, right? right? Yeah. Even the word like magic, it, be, it it comes from the magi, which were like the the mage. They were like the priests of like yeah, yeah, yeah. the Zoroastrianism and and shit like that. Like Prometheus had its own like cult kind of mm. where there were like certain like uh, like a group of priesthood people that worship like that deity or whatever. Hmm. Julian, if they give you uh parts and a couple commercials, would you join the mace? Oh yeah, this guy. Would you, would you be a mason? Dude, he'll do more than that. Like what? <laughs> For money? What else? For money? What else? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Already, already Somehow not. I'm not. Uh... I, I was able to get <laughs> enough money without doing nothing, not even telling not a soul. <laughs> All by myself. Yeah, but I'm talking about like like that messy contract kind of money. I don't have to. I'm oh, they'll never give you okay, that. Yeah, bro. Yeah. A a messy fair... contract. Kind of... yeah. Bro, do you know how fucking valuable that contract is? That's a billion dollars. Yeah. That that was that was crazy though. One point. Because it wasn't Ronaldo just... got like a, a third or a fourth of that, right? Well, because Ronaldo's just being straight. He's being paid straight cash and that's it. Messi is getting cash. He's getting a percentage of all the jersey, sh- jersey sales for his MLS Apple jersey. Streams. And the Apple. All the new Apple subscribers for the seasons past, and he gets a cut shares. of that too. And he gets a cut of that too. It's absolutely ridiculous. And he still said no. No, he, no, he said that's yes why to Messi's that. in. Oh, okay. But he, yeah. he, they wanted him to go to three years Saudi Arabia, one point six yeah, billion. But he said fuck just that straight up. And he said fuck that. And I think one of the reasons he said fuck that is one, who the fuck wants to live in Saudi Arabia? Nobody, especially if you're like yeah, Messi. Yeah. And two, remember when Saudi Arabia beat them in the World Cup? And where's Messi? Where's Messi? Yes. He's yes. like, fuck you guys. Yeah, that's true, actually. I forgot about that. You know what I mean? I forgot they actually beat them. They were That was the only loss in the World Cup yeah. for them. And he's like, fuck that. I'm not down. Which is like, it's dope. But like all these old guys going to the Saudi league, like I totally get it. You're like 32. Not even, some of them aren't even old, bro. We're talking like Saudi Omanis in the fucking league. He's, he's, he's like 30 something, he's bro. Like 32, barely old. Bro, that's old for soccer. I guess, but he's still there. Because in soccer, oh, you a, turn pro on the at like six, No, yeah, but you turn pro at like 16, but he's, 17, He's 18. still in his prime though right now. And it's Mono. hard on your He's joints, a little bit bro. over the prime. Yeah. A little bit, it's, but he's still there. Like yeah. he's on the. He's but he's chilling. just going there, and and he's Muslim. So for That's him, it works thing. out. Most of the guys who are there are already Muslim, so yeah. it's not that. Big no, but like Mitrovic stretch. is there from Fulham. Henderson too, bro. Yeah. What the fuck there's was that so, about? There's a lot of them. Henderson was all. About- I actually think it's good in a in a sense because now like the like the Asian Champions League is like yeah watchable Boomin. yeah. Well, Henderson is all about like LGBTQ, whatever the fuck. Oh my god! Support him, and then he decides to go to the Saudis. Like, ah, uh, yeah, fuck all that. Yeah, actually, like it. money. I don't care about none of your rights. Those guys just go along to get along, just yeah, like how all the fucking yeah. NBA players taking a knee. 
It's like fuck off with that shit. It's all about the money, bro. If it's but like t- if it's affecting your bottom line, then they're all about it. And if it's not, then it's not. The taking a knee one was, was really funny because I'm like, why is that such a big deal? Why the fuck does anybody care? It's I wouldn't like, take a knee. It's like no, but the outrage that it caused amongst the American public was hilarious. No, Imagine but that's being the media. so pressed. No, man, you got fucking white people like, oh, fuck you. Man. I would too. Bro, what? I if would someone too. Someone took an knee over an anthem. I don't give a fuck. No, fuck. fuck. It's it's the principle. I don't you, give a fuck. You're living off of like 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 America and people that like died in a war to make it what it is. You're enjoying all the luxuries of living in America and you want to talk shit. That's like you coming to my house, eating my fucking food, and I serve you and I host you, and you're like, fuck you. Like, I would be choked, too. It's like, if you don't like it, why don't you get the fuck out of here, right? You're making millions of dollars in America for putting a fucking ball in a hoop. Like, let's be honest. Athletes are like kids. Mm. They're children. You're playing a fucking child's game. You're chasing after a fucking ball. Mm. And you're getting paid millions of dollars. You have no fucking real skills. You've been babied your whole fucking life. You have agents and managers from, like, college and up if you're a good player. Like, they just handle your whole life. That's why they just throw tantrums and shit like that. Like fucking children, whenever they don't get their way, it's like but you also got to should... you also got to remember that athletes hold even even if they're playing a children's sport, they they have a lot of weight amongst people. A lot of people idolize athletes and will look up. No, to I know that, but I'm just saying it, right? as who they are as like people. It's like they're not people. Like realistically speaking, from a rational standpoint, from you rational. shouldn't be looking up to them. The problem is they're kids, shitty people. Kids aren't rational. That yeah, way, exactly. Right? right. So you have millions and millions of kids who will look yeah. up to athletes. And, and it's like, like I love if... this guy, and I'm gonna do exactly what he says. Yeah. But, like, if I was a fucking NFL team owner and one of those motherfuckers said that, I would cut him. <laughs> if I'm paying you $10 million to play a fucking sport, like, you do as I tell you. You come and you cut my grass on the weekends, motherfucker. Listen, like, Chubb, at one point of his I'm life, somewhere that. down the Not ancestor, that, you know? he definitely was a slave owner for sure. 100%. For sure. No, because, yo, if I'm paying you that much money for you to do that shit, I like, could whip you, you have, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, dog. I, I slap your mother in front Let's, of you and you got to smile. <laughs> You gotta keep smiling. This guy's gonna yeah. have a lot of. You can have a lot of like fucking. Julian, what do you think of this? Clips. It's like I don't know. I can't just say. He's I like, agree you can't have that. a lot no, of clips. Just, he's, he's good. He can say what he wants to say. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, take the counterpoint, man. Yo, you know Julian, come on, man. Yeah. Tell us. Give me a rebuttal. Yeah, come give on, me a rebuttal. give it to me. I'm right here. <laughs> I can rebuttal everything he said. Okay, okay go, but do it then, it, bro. Come on, I'm on your side, man. But do it, do it your way. Do it. You know what it is, bro. As I'm getting, I'm getting older. I'm just turning into an old racist white man. That's what he <laughs> and said. And I fucking yeah. love it. That's what he said yeah. yesterday. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I don't, I'm like, I still, you know, I see all these. We, like, I resonate with these I see these all these new FOBs coming yeah. in, even though I'm an immigrant. I'm yeah. like, I don't like it. These dirty fucking FOBs. I don't FOBs. like it. I keep hearing stuff about like um, in, in Brampton and stuff, too many um, browns are coming in. But I'm used to that from Surrey and all around here. You yeah, gotta admit, it, there's a little bit too much. There's of a lot, bro. But, um, yeah, what the, do you think? There's a lot. Where do you think is too much? And like, where do you think? I don't think it's an you know amount thing. I think thing. it's too much. Per- personally, yeah. I don't think it's an amount thing. Yeah. I think it's a ratio thing. Yeah, right. Exactly. So forget about the amount. You could have five hundred, a million, two million immigrants per year in Canada. That's not what matters to me. What matters to me is of those, let's say, two million immigrants. How many are coming from one specific country? But then there's that's other, the there's issue. Other people that are saying now. This isn't me. This is just yeah, how yeah, yeah. people see. They're like, oh, it doesn't matter how many of what race ratio, nothing. Like, yeah, no, see, that's my issue. I think saying? there should be a good... The yeah. only reason I think the ratio should be looked into is because you got to think, a lot of countries around the world want to immigrate into Canada. So if one country is taking up like 80% of that ratio, you got to look into why. Like, how is it possible that this one fucking country is just somehow dominating the like the immigration into, the, into this country? And it turns out it's because a lot of them come up with like fraudulent applications. They're coming in with bullshit reasons like school, but it's not a real school. It's some bullshit school that they paid a thousand dollars to get into, paid yeah. for their visa. And now they, they get in and they leave and they work these bullshit jobs and then they wait until they can get status so they can bring their parents they over. They got to start catching them fake school. That's the thing. They like got to get to the source. No, but whenever there's like the ratio is off, like one group will just start to like, they bully and shit. And that's Yo, the we went problem. downtown. We went downtown that's a few weeks problem. ago, right? Golly. Bro, I'm telling you, I promise you, it was Surrey. Oh, downtown. when we when we went? No, no when, when we went. When we yeah. went. Yeah. It was it was, it was Surrey. I've never seen it. We like went it. to five, six different places. Cabana was, was rough. All, Cabana was rough. It was all Indian guys. Did you guys go to Cabana? 
Yeah, bro. That's for fucking, like five minutes. That was crazy. That was like ninety percent. Um, there was a lot of Asians that came and got a lot of areas too, and it's like we almost just forgot that. I think the biggest reason for that, because it's true what you said. For example, like in the eighties, there was a huge immigration wave from Hong Kong, right? They were coming in through a different way. They didn't come in using school. They came in with money. And that's a big difference, right? Because they started injecting their money into the economy. They started buying up properties. They started starting, like, make, making business. And then you actually taking their own money from another country and then putting it into Canada. So Canada, at that point, they're like, okay, fuck it. You guys might be 90% of the population, but you, get, you, guys, you guys are creating so much of the economy, we don't give a fuck. The problem with this new wave of Indian immigration. Yeah, but like, then we should I, get it at the Caucasian immigration. To well, that's with. well, that's why I call it new wave because the old wave of immigrants of Indian immigrants, they also bought shit. They bought farms. They started up businesses, and that's legit. But the white, the white, the Caucasians actually did the most. There's the Ukrainians coming in slowly. We gotta, we gotta get it refugees more more than anything. Yeah, yeah but they're not. Different. They're that's not different. the. Uh, they're not the productive type because we're talking about these natives, people coming really, in for like natives. visas. No, Ukrainian people. Know. Ukrainian people aren't like like super. I don't know. From the Ukrainian people I've seen, they're not really like the most effective people in like being. No, a some of them are coming in. They got like, like that. degrees and shit like that, but like you I, can't do none of that here. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's the thing. They don't you, allow you. You can't you do none can, of that here. If you come with a degree, they don't even like one you of do those nothing. countries. You can't do nothing. I think like if you, you came from like Australia, England, New yeah. Zealand, these places, yeah, okay, bring your degree here. You can do your shit, same shit here. But you also can't blame them because, like he said, you could make bullshit degrees from like other places, and like, how yeah. do you verify it? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's this that's guy's gonna come and fucking too, right? as a doctor and kill someone. You know yeah, what yeah, mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you could have like a, a standardized exam. There, to be yeah. fair, not even the exam. There are recognized institutions across different countries. Like my parents come from countries where technically, uh, if you go to a smaller university, nobody knows where the fuck. But if you come from like the one of the top universities in those countries, it'll be recognized across the yeah. world. So that does exist. People do come in with that. The issue with this immigration shit, it, we're talking about they're young, man. We're talking like younger immigrants. That are coming in to do some like they're studying for English and then they'll study for some bullshit marketing degree off some like six year diploma or six month diploma. That doesn't yeah. that's not real. Right? They're only just they're just trying to get here. That's the thing. It's a fraudulent application, is what it really comes yeah, down to. Yeah, and a bunch of them, like there's a lot of them coming in as like I'm coming in on like a tourist thing. It feels like and almost, they'll stay. It feels like almost every single application is probably a bit fraudulent. It, Every not really case. yes and no every single well case. the other thing is like if it's fraudulent okay but do you have anything else yeah. right it's one thing if you make a fraudulent applica application and you're super rich because at the end of the day fuck it you're just gonna like you just buy your way through but if you make up a fraudulent education like visa application for the education stream and it turns out you got nothing with you just some poor ass motherfucker and you're yeah. stuck in some like basement suite like sick other immigrants yeah. and you're working on tim hortons what the fuck, man? It's like, not a, you're not contributing at all. It doesn't seem like a, a little bit. Someone's got to work Tim Hortons. Yeah, but then that's all you're doing for your life. And then you're going to bring in more. You're going to bring your parents who literally are retirement age and they can't do yeah, shit. Yeah, that's the problem is when you that's bring people issue. in and they like, because a lot of people, what they do is they come here, they get citizenship status and then yep. they fuck off and go elsewhere. And, and then the when parents. they're 65, they yep. come back and yep. collect free money. That's that's a real big well, problem. Yeah, they got to stop right now. all the unfair entry. Yeah, so yeah, that's like some of the that fair we'll entries are build a wall. <laughs> well, no, the, the the beautiful thing about the place, though, when you look around and it's proper, is the different races all combined. That's what's so nice. But about that's uh, that's another issue because no one feels like they like it's their country. So like when they hike prices up for everything and and they do all sorts of shit, yeah, no one feels like like this is my country. So they're just like shit. Just go like if they pulled the way they're doing it with gas prices. That they're doing here, they did it in Iran. They raise it by like ten cents or some shit, bro. Yeah. Motherfuckers burned gas stations on fire. Jesus, and then they just like brought it back down. They're like, all right, yeah, but Iran is like, but that's the thing. It's like a the new people, level. No, new dude, level. they did this. They did the same thing in Peru. Yeah. They didn't burn the shit down, but they they had like huge protests. Yeah, yeah that's not the same. Though. No, they, yeah. they brought it down. Yeah, yeah, well, no, yeah, but like over there, they don't burn shit as much as they do in Iran, man. Come on. Yeah. They had terrorists back in the nineties, and they were like, "We can't do this again." And and people in those countries, they're like, "This is my country." They have yeah. like a yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's a, true. A, a root connection to their family. And here, everyone's an immigrant, so they're like, "Yeah, I'm just here." Like, you know what I mean? Like, a lot sure. of them, they're like, just glad they got here. So they're like, "I don't want to talk too much." They're gonna kick me the fuck out. You know? Yeah. What to I mean? be fair, that's part of the Canadian identity. 
right? Yeah. And that's also actually what makes people feel at home is the fact that they know that there's so many other people like them in this country that have a place. I think that that makes up a big part of what being a Canadian's about. And you talk about this with older generations, like the the people who actually have to do like you guys. You guys know what the point system is, right? I don't know if you guys. Did your parents come through through the point system. They're refugees. I came as a refugee. Okay. Re- Latin immigrant. There you go. So she point system yeah. most likely. When you do that, you got to fucking fight for that shit. You got to like apply and say, I did this. I'm coming in with this. I got like this or whatever. And then when you get it, it's legit. They feel good about it. They feel a sense of pride because they're like, I came here and I deserved it because I fucking worked for this and I fought for this and now I got it. So it's it's different than people who are just like, ah, whatever, made up some bullshit application that I'm in. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, I don't think my parents give a fuck. But I, I think I, I think your mom would, man. No, I think I think my parents just gave up on uh, like just trusting government or even inclining to that that that's worth their time. Well, you know, at a certain point in time, they just gotta like be realistic. No, it's not about the government. That's it not what that's like about. Feels like if the government lies about every single thing in a row, then it's hard to just believe it after a while. That nationalistic pride shit—that's only like if you're not, if you didn't get fucked by them. How are you going to say that to somebody who went to jail for four years? Like, they're not going to trust anybody. I know. Usually people that have stuff like that is like, it happens during, like, with war. Yeah, right. Because you lost family members protecting mm. the country. So mm. you Who's got the lighter? So you feel like more like, yeah, chuck it, Doug. You know what I mean? But yeah. when you just come here and it's all good and, and dandy, like, you're not going to do nothing. But if you lost family members yeah, to keep things the way they are, then you, you're going to have that. Another problem I have with this democracy shit is like, like I want to vote on these wars. <laughs> you want to vote Bro, on wars? Your vote doesn't matter, man. No, no, no. no. Like I, I, I want to be able to be like, okay, the majority of people actually, the majority of people actually, uh, they wanted to go to Afghanistan or some shit and kill this guy or whatever the fuck. Yeah, and but then how do you, go. how do you even like determine that? Like the, their votes are fucking rigged. Like you can't really, you know, there's no way of actually. Keep I think there should be like AI government, bro. Uh, AI government? Yeah. Fucking hell. They won't allow it. No, no, it's not that they won't allow it. I think it, it'd be beneficial for us if there was like some AI government, ultra non uh, bias, just can make the right decision. Here's one for based you. Based on facts. Could you, do you think you could live a life dictated by AI for a month? Fuck no. Uh, it depends. How, like if, how if much tomorrow, better my quality of life oh, becomes. You're, you're not going to know. You're just like, Okay, so well, here's, that, here's, that doesn't make here's, an argument. here's the premise. The year is like 2030, and their chat GPT has evolved like chat GPT 10. Okay. And if you decide to sign up, you can have chat GPT be your fucking life coach advisor. And if you want it, normally it's like a $10,000 service a year. Mm. But if you decide to let to listen to everything it says, it's free. Would you do it for a month? Yeah. No. Every, he said no. You say yes? For a month? Yeah. Yeah. But you got to do everything. I, I I put a better environment than what you're saying. Imagine you can have chat GPT as a subscription in your brain where you're just uploading any kind of information you want as fast as you want. Would you have that installed in your brain? No, nope. it's not chat GPT I, at that point. I would. That, no, what you described is like, a, you know, it's like they, an if, ideal situation. If you have same. something in your brain like that, like what's not to say that they can control it? Yeah. You're too trusting, bro. But uh, I think. I think soon enough, like you probably don't want to go into the first generation of that shit, but like eventually there's going to be ways to hack that shit and not be controlled and and, no. and, and that kind of thing. That's the matrix, bro. You can have a better life in the matrix than outside. What you're describing is like communism. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Right. Yeah. Well, it's communism without the greed. So that might be something worth considering. I, no. I, I don't believe there's, I no, be there's no human nature, bro. It's all. It's, it's yeah. All, but like people let, are different. Hold on, hold on. Let, you, let's let's let's, let's, let's make time. some let's one make some time. fundamental uh basic agreements. Would you say do you want money to be in society or would you want to have a moneyless society? Money. You want money? Yeah. But don't you think that it's just bullshit? No. That's a communist in you, bro. I just think it's bullshit. Like, Why would I, it be bullshit? Because I think I think what's if you, gonna separate you and some next guy? Uh skill. It's not worth anything. What do you mean? There's, there's nothing. What are you gonna? If there's no money, what do you value yeah, it on? Uh, how rare of skill? But what do you? What, what gives it? Like the reason doctors within a general paid, population, so that's there's why. very few of them, right? Okay. A doctor, there's, there's like one. Let's say one in a thousand. Yeah. Sure. people are doctors. But okay? what's the incentive to be a doctor if you're gonna to be, be a this? rare person? 
but like you're living the same as the janitor. But that's the thing. You're not. What you're not saying. What you're this, not this describing. Is what, hold on. Hold on. Let, this is what I'm saying. What are you saying? It, how much, how, uh, how society dictates your success right now is monetary by money. How much money you have, how much equity you have, whatever, whatever. Okay. Then in that society, what would dictate your position in society would be how rare of what, what skill you have and how rare it is among society. So people with very rare skills, they would still be in a very, in the very same position mm-hmm. as they are now. Because if, if you have a very rare skill, you generally are, are, are still fairly paid now. So here's the question. Okay. What makes that skill rare? Here's the thing. Here's no, no, wait, gotta, not enough people well, know well, how to do it. But at that point, it's in a society that's not dictated by money. What's limiting people's exactly. access to the information? No, but uh, aside just from that, genetics and IQ. You know, no? The reason something gives like genetics and IQ, the reason those things are valued is be- the money's a byproduct of the value is the fact that it's so like sought out after that people are willing to pay a higher and higher mm. amount of money to get it. So that's the value. The money dictates that. Yeah, but even among, and then among when the you're, population, you're not going to have a certain amount. Yeah, of but guys. then if you have a lot of money, then you live a you're a valuable person and you live a nice, valuable life. And then you feel like a, a, a Lamborghini is not valuable if everyone drives it. No, I understand Can we agree that. On that? What, the reason it's valuable it, is because it's like fucking three to four hundred thousand dollars. And not everyone can get it. Very select few people well, get it. What Armand was meant was describing is that in this society without money, you would still have the same amount of people that have these specific skills in a unique way. I don't agree with that. I right? don't agree with that at all. Because hey, you got to understand, like, there, there's got to be incentive for people to do things. That's why they go after certain like jobs and, and things like, like that, right? Yeah, but you have to also understand that uh, in this society, for example, if you go to school, if for you are, years, they, there'd be levels, there'd be sectors, right? So there'd be like, for example, if you're like a sector two job. Okay, so, so for you're, example, not, you're describing your ideal society now. Is what you're doing? Y- okay. No, hear me out. These have existed. I have to. I have to. I have you're, to. You're I have talking to. about like the Hunger Games now. <laughs> no, ba- no, basically. Ba- no, no, basically, curious, but in a, in, in a safer, safer environment. All right, what do you got? What do you got? I okay. Like uh, because everything would be controlled. Everything would be controlled by AI. It wouldn't be like we wouldn't have some biased leader, right? Like, uh, you know, having like just human uh, faults and just making all these mistakes. It would have to be something that's like shown. As far as non-monetary. You still have the same rare people. So like you still have 500 people in the NBA. Those guys are still getting paid. They're living the life of a very rare sector of a job. There's no payment. Though. There's no payment. No, no, so I understand. Go and do that. But there's levels of things you can unlock. So, for example, if you are a farmer, you can't go unlock a fucking Lambo. You should be able to because you provide the food. You're very valuable. That's where we differ. That's the fundamentals uh, blocks is that that's where you differ. That's where you actually differ is where you, it's not even about the money. Yeah, you, but that's you what think I'm about saying. you think about compensation. So this is this is what you agree on. No, I, I think AI, I think of this. Almost, I, I think of this as this. You, I care even now of how rare of skill you have. You care about if you have, let's say you don't have a rare skill, but you have a good business. You still want to get paid well. If I I don't believe in that. Actually, I think you then should have a rare skill. People aren't gonna do like society's not gonna be able to function because there's no incentive for you to go do things. No, it's just your capabilities. Yeah, though. but like something's got to be the motivator. If you have an AI as a leader, you're definitely there's there's certain okay. cultivate there's certain cultivated something. jobs that are are okay. just gonna be taken so by machines. If you have AI as a leader, AI is not gonna value certain things like sports as like a, a valuable thing. It'll value. Like you farmers. can't say that. You yeah, can't. You yeah, can't it would, for sure say that. It's more logical. Someone that provides the food for society is more valuable than someone running after a ball for entertainment. It also depends okay. how that AI is. Modeled, you get what right? I'm saying? Because if the AI is modeled with a human Maybe. mindset, then in why its program, even have that? It will. It will value a lot of human qualities. A lot of qualities that are not monetarily defined. I don't think so we think, can argue think, on this. No, it's, it's an interesting. I don't talk about arguments. No, because what I'm discussion. saying is this, is like because when you have what money. This, what this gets me to think about is this. It motivates people. No, this, what this gets me to think about is societies. Like we're talking about prehistoric societies at this point. Like think of any society that existed before the first coin was invented. The first real coin was actually invented. You Fucking you guys. Yeah. Persians actually made the first coin in, in real life. But even before that, humans still had a system of compensation. Yeah. So before money, it was like fucking food, fucking yeah, object. Yeah, you trade. Rare, exactly, trade, the barter system. 
But at a certain point, it became impractical because you're like, how many fucking bushels of wheat can I bring in to pay you for this? At a certain point, it doesn't make and sense. And some guy doesn't Let's, want wheat. Or not even that. Just like, he's like, I want a thousand wheats. And you're like, bro, how the fuck am I going to give you a thousand wheats? Let me just, instead, let me give you like this other thing that represents a yeah. thousand wheats. That way I can actually carry it in my pocket. You know what the crazy thing is? Is like how banking in. started. It's no, the uh, crazy thing is, look how like temp- look how high Julian is right now, bro. You gotta give him your sunglasses. <laughs> Julian, yeah. Julian's That's high as shit. <laughs> no, like banking started with like uh, I think it was like a Templar Knights Crusades. Yo, my guy, he actually knows this. I read about this last year. Yeah, the Crusades, the Crusaders, because people were getting robbed. Templar on the Knights. Way. They actually started the first banking system yeah, in the West. Where they crazy, would, you know that. Yeah, where they would give like money. And they would deposit it, and then they would yes. get like a piece of something. And then when they get exactly. to the other side, yes, they would trade it in. And then they because they, they were the first real organization to yeah. have and then, banks in different countries. And then they started they making a lot of over. money. And yeah. then they were, and then a lot of them actually started joining like secret societies, like masonry and mm-hmm, other mm-hmm. things like that, which dabbled in witchcraft and stuff like that. And then the Catholic Church realized, like, yo, these guys are getting way too much money, <clears throat> way too much power, way too much power. Yeah, so yeah. they just killed them all. Yeah, dude. And then that's why, like they, like just they went like underground and stuff mm-hmm, like mm-hmm, that, right? Mm-hmm. Julian, what do you think of this? <laughs> that's, 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 Julian's trying to follow still, man. He's no, like, no, no. I think he's like, on page five still. It's uh, it's good about like uh, the, how the currency was like developed and shit. <laughs> yeah, keep listening. You might. Learn. Well, what what else? <laughs> the you point, might remember something. The point that I was trying to make with that because you guys were actually on a really interesting discussion at that point. Because what you're describing is basically that situation before people actually had money, but with AI. Because that's the yeah. one issue is that before we had money, we still had all we had a system for it, but it was flawed because you had that human part of it yeah. where it's like well, this guy's like describing like a utopian thing, yes. which it yeah. will not work because human beings are naturally selfish. Yeah. Exactly. When you have money, you can feed that selfishness. I will give you something, but I need something in return because I am selfish yeah. and it works. The but the other one, the AI you, shit yeah, well, won't work. The I'll, AI that they give you would be an AI that they want you to see so like when you actually look at the answers no the but this is not wrong because i was actually gonna bring this up like yeah, the answer hold on still who is they them. who is modeling the ai exactly who are you trusting exactly. to create this ai so that's gonna, gonna fucking that. god, you know what i mean god already did the ai yeah so, <laughs> then, so then after that like legit bro unless <laughs> <laughs> no he's he's right i know but that, god though. with the ai i'm like, like no like oh, reality is like kind of like yeah no, it's, like I, a it's true it's sure if you believe yeah if you subscribe to that theory but like I, I yeah like the utopian thing i never can get along with because it's just like it, it there's a lot of things that need to go right yeah Way and it won't much. and it won't it, all it takes is one person <clears throat> in a position of power to be a scumbag which is very easy as soon as you get power you want more power i don't think it'll happen in, in our lifetime at least but I, a- I just think uh if ai could model other ai that's where it gets crazy that's yeah. when it might be a that's when it might happen i think but to yeah get but to i level, just don't think technology is gonna grow uh to that extent where we can just disappear into a utopia. i don't know man it's growing pretty fucking crazy right now as it is right so. they could have like uh like soon like it doesn't matter what you actually look like but you're just you're attached to this video game and well, then that character think about actually... it in 50 years ago if you try to describe to people what we have going on now they'd be like what the fuck are you talking about you had about? a bit about this yeah. some, the some of these kids care more <laughs> you know what i their, think uh... i'm like i always think about it i'm like if you took like let's say like house music like mm-hmm. really like and you showed it to some guy from like the 30s like his head would explode he would just yeah, be like yeah. way too overwhelmed well, he wouldn't you ever, even know what to do with that you shit. probably have more of these interactions than i do but do you ever have that because you grew up on some kind of music most yeah, like from the early 2000s yeah. like 90s maybe yeah when you have when you talk to like younger kids listen to this, you're like, oh damn, bro, you listen to the classics? Yeah. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's how I felt while my fucking parents listen yeah. to shit from the eighties. Yeah. Back when I was a kid, and that's when you realize you're fucking old as fuck. Yeah, but it's just with music though, I don't know. It's just the sounds I'm talking about have changed yeah. so much that like if you have someone from like the thirties where it's just like Listening pianos in house, and it, EDM. you know what I mean? And then yeah. also you put that shit on, yeah. He's just gonna trip. Like his head, he wouldn't even be able to like take it all in. Yeah, I couldn't comprehend it because they wouldn't even know what digital. He'd is. probably like bust a nut. He'd be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, well, or he might think that it's like some like something's wrong with your machine. You're like, hey, yeah. what's wrong with that? It sounds like it's no, it broken. sounds good. Like it's not like you know what I mean. He'd be like, this is the devil's music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would sound like so like well like AI. It sound like AI music. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Trying to get uh, trying yo, to get down yo, with yeah, the AI. This kid, this kid I know, a younger dude. Julius trying to land some points here. <laughs> this younger dude, I was I'm gonna rolling, give it to you. I was rolling in his car and he's literally bumping AI tracks. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I'm like, bro. You can't just be listening to AI because then now you're going to be acting kind of AI. I don't know, man. It's, that AI shit, I feel like, is going to be, it's going to fuck shit up. I don't like, like it. it just, I, I like the, just the regular old school way. Without yeah, bro. Shit. Just yeah. human beings. Like, I like phones before even, like, you know, like this snake. No, no Kia. Yeah, it's the snake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the snake cave. Could yeah. you ma- imagine, could you imagine AI porn? You don't even need real actresses anymore. What would you, what would happen? It'd be the same. Imagine you had. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I get, I get now you're saying, there you go. You now, will, I think that will happen in the future. That One of will these, happen. The, like hot chicks will sell. You already, the, you already have deep fakes. Yeah, so hot chicks will sell like their likeness. Yes. To yeah. like a yeah. porn site, and then they'll just be like all sorts of shit, and then they'll some, get paid. Some of these kids nowadays have like a, like in real life they'll just be doing whatever, and then in the video game they're in a full on relationship with like some. Yeah, bitch there's, or some yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, bro. You know Ar- I mean? Armand's got like four wives right now, man. Yeah, really? On the, on the no. Yeah, he's got like another no. few girlfriends. Yeah, but some of them are. Oh, guys some of them are, are, are <laughs> Describing like, himself on Call of Duty. Yeah, 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 they, yeah they care more about <laughs> their. Like, don't uh, expose me, you fuck. They care more about their video game character than they care about even how they are. Because they're fucking life. losers in real life. You know I mean? And there's a lot of that's people like that, and that's how it's gonna go forward. Because you could be like a somebody in the game. Oh yeah. But you're a fucking yeah. clown in real yeah. life, so yeah. bro. Yeah. You guys ever see these guys with these like realistic dolls that are like their girlfriends and shit? No. Chef bro, I I came across like a video like this on YouTube, man. Is bro, this one it made of? me die Wait. inside. Okay, because I'm like, what? Just is this some kill white? Yourself, is that some or... white dude? Is that some white dude reviewing this? No, no, no. It was like some some uh... Japanese guy. No, no, just... some like Brazilian guy. He was like half the decapitated like his fucking limbs and shit were all fucked oh, up so fucked he, up. he's not gonna he's not gonna get no pussy it Yo, was man. what he was Steven, trying to say Stephen Hawking got pussy he had kids man yeah but how because he was Cause already smart and his, he, he actually just because he didn't control doesn't mean that his dick doesn't work because blood still flows through right so his wife would get him hard and then fuck him I'm not kidding man that bitch was she was, she, re- she was crazy. dedicated. That's crazy. Yeah. See, that's where the bar that's should crazy. be sat sat for us for for women, man. They should like if we're sitting in a chair like that. Drain yeah, because he was it wasn't Drain even me. like it wasn't even like he was sitting in a wheelchair. Like he was like this. And bro, shit. He, homie he, he, was he'd be on bed lying down. Homie was like this. And she she literally she all just the ride time. Him. She would just ride him and then and then and then he's like, I am coming. Well, well no, he wouldn't, <laughs> he wouldn't even know. Well, he, I just busted a nut. So he was like twenty or whatever. But yeah, he wouldn't even know he was coming because he wouldn't feel it. So Yo, what the fuck is the point? No, that he would still come. He just wouldn't feel it. It's for her that's to what, have kids. Okay. Yeah, and that's then what? You're going to have more wheelchair kids? No, no. It, was, no, it, no, wasn't, no. it wasn't like okay. that. That was a like rare that. condition. Yeah, super, super rare. Okay. Julian, would you play Stephen Hawking's uh, fuck no. in what? a wheelchair? Did you guys study this topic? What? Stephen Hawking? Yeah. yeah. I don't know who that is. Oh, man. <laughs> what? I mean, fair enough. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. He's that smart ass guy in a wheelchair. There you go. What 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 does Stephen Hawking and Tony Hawk have in common? They're both white and they're both. One on made wheels. the landing. They're, they're no, both on no, wheels. they both fuck with ramps. They're both on wheels. Right <laughs> yeah, but they're they're both greatness. I icon. Uh, at what they do? Say so. One's a skateboarder and one's a scientist. One's a wheelchair. <laughs> one's a science boarder. He be saying crazy theories and shit to like get me right. Shit. Like Pluto's this far and it's gonna be this cold. Right? I don't know. I think he was full of shit to be honest. I don't like half of who <laughs> Stephen Hawking. What do you like... mean full of shit? He's a <laughs> physicist. He's, like, him, like, right? he's got like proven theories and shit. No, he doesn't. It's yeah, all... he does. <laughs> what? It's not proven theory. Yo, if it's proven, then it's not a fucking theory. Well, that's what he was saying. Is that they got his theories got proven? So Which like, one? I the ones know. about the black holes. <laughs> How, it has it. Yeah, because we've observed a black hole in real Jesus, this guy wants. Sean, you can't just deny this, shit. This, this yeah. <laughs> like, this nah, like, man. I don't, I don't believe it, it unless I'm inside the black hole. Then I'll get back no, to you. No, you can't tell me some shit about eight million light years. Away. That's fucking nonsense. Yeah, no, he's man. some kind of genius like that, right? God damn it, like, man. It's nonsense. Like that. Bro, I don't believe The funny the part is. Shit, like, the, the, the <laughs> stupid shit. The funny part is these guys spend years trying to they do that. They wasted 30 the years. They wasted those years. All the equations, all the theories of shit. Can you talk about this? Shab comes up, sees a wall. All of equations, but he spent 35 years. He's like, nah, I don't believe it. 
No, because yo, you gotta understand. Because yeah. you gotta I'm understand, dying. everything is based oh, off man. of it's. It's a theory <laughs> that's based off another theory. Oh, man. That's, that's like, not true, and it comes down to some shit that's not that's really not proven. True. But this is the you thing. You can't it tell me tested. anything is eight million light years away, bro. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I just it just doesn't make sense. You gotta be for me to judge a distance. I gotta oh, be able God. to hit that end and that end to <laughs> no tell you really. It has to be in a football field. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there has to be goalposts or I don't believe it. <laughs> no, but like, honestly. Yo, I can't. You, if if, it, all that, if I don't see where that is, if I turn my head, it's not there, bro. No, bro. You, <laughs> you can't tell me 500 million light years away. That's fucking insane. Oh, That's retarded. God. Like, I'm not listening to that, bro. You're fucking re- like. You're trolling me. Bro, it's cr- like, it's, no, man. 5 million light years away. Bro, you, what imagine, does that even mean? Can you imagine? How do you Fuck. gauge that? If you haven't been around for five million years you can't tell me uh, something's that long it's it's a, it's a theory <laughs> it's a it's a very it's a god guess damn, god damn it's it. an educated guess god damn it god damn it man <laughs> oh man this is hilarious i would love you know what i would love a segment if we could somehow you know those guys on youtube will will get into events like we'll get into like concerts and shit but for yeah. free or whatever i want to get shahab and mic him up and just get him to the nobel prize ceremony fucking right <laughs> just sneak him in there. Yeah. Sneak Shahab into the Nobel like, Prize yeah, ceremony. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. No, no, Bullshit. These, this these, one. these ceremonies are like oh, super, man. like, they're like, everyone's in a suit. Bro, everyone's like respectful. I, I know. Imagine they just announce, like, and for a Nobel Prize, I fix. Shahab is like, eh, that's a bunch of bullshit. Oh, yeah. man. Boo. <laughs> just That'd be off. so funny, Bro, dude. Even with the Nobel Peace Prize, they just give it to whoever. Like, Obama won one. For what? <laughs> What have you oh, done? Oh no, the Peace Prize is bullshit. I was talking like the scientific ones. Yeah. Because that'd be even funny. You just walk in. I don't in. know, man. Nobel Prize for that. That Neil deGrasse Tyson guy's a full of shit, bro. I listen to that guy. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? You know what I mean? He just brings up facts. He, I he... literally heard him one time say the earth is p- shaped like a pear. I'm like, that doesn't even make any fucking sense. No, maybe a pair of nuts is he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's pear shaped. And because of the little bit of it's like, shut the fuck up, man. It makes sense because it, it turns. So what the, the fuck the does that guy do? The poles would be longer than the center. Okay. So I, make it up. Have you seen a what a pear. pear looks like? <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about a special kind of pear <laughs> from Mongolia. He meant a grape. It grows. <laughs> he meant a grape. That's what he meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, hold on. Did Neil deGrasse say pear or grape? I'm confused. Okay. Let, <laughs> since <laughs> since, oh, yeah, since we're talking listen, about this, do you anything. guys think the moon landing was real? Yes. Oh <laughs> my God! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man! I literally, I've heard. This. Oh my, bro! Was... It's it's so fake. It this shit's. If you look at it, it's tinfoil. It's literally tinfoil that you you're calling from moon and to, on a fucking damn it. cord corded phone. <laughs> we made it, son. <laughs> so he here's landed. What, here's Yo, what's crazy. Here's what's happened. crazy. That shit was made in in, in a desert in Las Vegas. All right, Vegas, all right. It was bro. made in Area 51. Here's what's crazy. Not even that. It was you got, made. You got the Indians who supposedly, because apparently you don't believe this, they supposedly just landed on the moon. Man, not people. Not people. On. Just like a, a little like uh, like a, a rover, lie. whatever. Lie. We have like 4K video these days. Mm. You know what I mean? Like we can broadcast some crazy shit. Yeah. I think even now, and now it's probably worse because of all this shit. We could have a 4K, 60 frames per second fucking feet of the moon, and some guy vlogging on the moon, and people be like, nah, I don't believe this shit. I don't. It's not real. The problem is, is These... that there was actually, hold on, there was actually some, some bullshit pictures out there, so it's like, people can't distinguish between what's real and what's not, because Bro, most people they... aren't scientists, most people don't, don't understand Don't they say the you can't pass like that? What's it called? That Van Allen belt or whatever, the radiation. How the fuck do you send pictures if 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 shit can't come through because of the radiation? You're telling me you're sending like within the 60s when they had like the fucking like the film shits, like the actual like physics. Like, yeah. bro, it's just nonsense, man. Like, you can't tell me that shit. There's so many things debunking it. The fact that there's light coming from different directions, you could tell they had like a, a fucking studio light thing set up. If the moon's on one side, all the light should be facing one direction. Why is the fucking American flag waving? There's no wind up there. Like, it's fucking crazy to me that people like will just look at shit like that and be like, yeah, like, it's right. It, you know it, what this is? It was it was the, it was the Cold War and they were trying to like one up the fucking Russians, bro. That's all it was. This is straight up just modern privilege. That's what this shit is. We have way too much fucking access to technology. 
People think they know way more than they actually do, and they can look at shit 50 years ago and be like, you know what? I don't believe it. I think people took take a lot more stock into this shit than you should. People like going out there and like debunking all this shit, I think should be a bit more skeptical about what the fuck they're doing and why they're doing it. Yeah, but they well, also well, you know, the government they're actually also should lied. be doing it. It's because, yeah, like if you lie about one thing, you then what else are you not lying you're lying about? You know what I mean? It's like if you lie about one thing, you lose credibility with everything because you're a fucking liar now. I'm so, kind of like shop with this because I think yeah, you should, bro, you should, you should somebody be checking, should, no, this kind okay, of thing. should sure. be checking the government. In general, should is sure. Yeah. But on this moon thing, it's like you mentioned that point about the Soviets. You really think the Soviets, if they knew it was fake, wouldn't fucking have a field day being like this, that shit was fake? Well, they were trying to do the same thing. So they got, they yeah. got beat to the, it. The yeah, better but question is. They knew is, that they didn't. They knew that they couldn't because they would have. They so why been haven't like they fake. been back? What do you mean been back? Because they already won. It's what, What's the point of going back again? Why would you not go? What's there to do back? on the moon? There's nothing to do there. Yeah, why did you go in the first place then? To say that you could. And then they Bro, did it. It's bullshit. But then you can't use that argument then. Then that argument's fucking dumb. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, like, I already. Told you a bunch of things. What, which the, makes studio, me think the studio? The studio lights. Like, yeah, on, yeah, bro. Come on. Yeah. How come you? On. How you got lights from different directions? Come on. Pull this shit up. Jamie. No, hold if on. If there's yeah, no gravity on. or I, I think, anything like that, God you damn. can't even really have like God damn. lights. Look it up. And shit Look like it up. That, you got a phone. I got phone. Like, uh, it's in like SpaceX and shit. Can I go there? Man, fuck. See, you won't believe it then. It'll be fucking 4K 120. Be like, nah, fuck it. Yo, I'm gonna send you to the moon. I'd be like, no, I don't believe this is real. You like kidnapped me, put, put, put drugs in my Hector, ass. You're not I'm able. My, you're not I'm able in my to basement. take yourself to the moon. I'm in moon, my basement. Okay? Yeah, I wish I could. I'm in my basement right now. I don't believe. I it. think it was like what? What was it? They, they were doing like some some sky mission Bro. around the moon or some shit for a billion dollars or some shit. No, what was this? Offer the, they're gonna offer the whole package for like four hundred fifty million. They're gonna send you up there and fucking kill you and take your money. No, they they got a couple. Kind of down, bro. Bro. Well, they're doing it. bro, where's the studio lighting here, yeah, man? What the fuck is this? It's just paper. it's there's shadow one direction. That's, that's one picture you you found. All right, which one do I? Why want? is there a reflection like that? Actually, I think it was like. Hold on, let's go back. Why is on there this. reflection? Because there's light. I don't know <laughs> what? How much yeah, but if there's no gravity or air or anything like that, can that shit actually happen? Is like what's the what like optics? What, what? Yeah. optics have nothing to do with gravity? Optics not can... not a gravity. Like if like the air being in there, some it, like it has. It it does something, you know what I mean? You you what? What what happens is <laughs> Okay. He's what? talking about the You're talking about the, the flag. flag. You're talking about the flag. Yeah. yeah. Not about this cuz I'm like, bro, this is No, 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 no. I'm talking, talking about the flag. flag. Like if there's okay, no okay. air, why is it waving? They could have just said it that way. Let me look at the video. What do you mean? I'll pull it up. No, it's, I'm not it saying it's... Be, we have to look at the video. Yeah, let's pull the, up the video. It's bullshit if we look at the It's just a photo. The photo is bullshit. Bro, I'm telling you, that shit is fake. All right, I'm you heard it here first. Yeah. Yo, let, we should get Dean and Chahal in the same time, man. You remember? They would get you know along. Guy, you know this guy is? Do you know who he is? Who? Dean. Is he around? I don't know, man. Fuck. I don't know. But there's, I have a coworker that I went on a work trip recently. Same. You guys would get along. Yeah. He, he, Smart guy. Him and him and his brother <laughs> got into a. They got into like over the moon landing. It was pretty funny. I just, just think it's fake and like because people, his, would, his people will try to tell me because what here's what it is. I look at that shit. I'm like, oh, that looks fake to me. And then like the only evidence people have is like some other person's word for it. They're like, oh, this, I it, that's what it says on Google. Well, it's no, like, here's here's a crazy part too. Is because that guy, my coworker, he's older. He's like forty. I want to say like forty two, but his brother's older than him by like ten or fifteen years. So his brother was actually alive, just like my dad, for the broadcast. So the reason they no, got into wasn't. it, the reason they got into it, is because he's like, no man, I, I saw that shit on TV. That's what, and that's what. So they, what? Whatever. Just because you saw some shit, I saw fucking the X Files on TV. Yeah, you is saw that all that before. Like, hit the. F- like you can't tell me shit on TV is real because it's on this TV. Motherfucker. And this motherfucker, how old is he? You said he's ten years old, so he's fifty. That should no, happen like in the 60s. No, no, he was old, older than that. So, so uh, let's say he's like, because my dad's 65, so he saw it, because this happened in 63. Okay. So my dad would have been like five years old, so he's probably around the same age. Okay, so at 60. five years old, what the fuck do you know? What do you mean the fuck you know? A you're watching, be- you're watching a, with your parents. A five-year-old believes in Santa Claus. Yeah, but your parents are watching it. So what? Just because you <laughs> watch something doesn't mean it's fucking real, bro. I watch movies all the fucking time. Guys, how do we get here? I'm confused. <laughs> how do we... Look? So I shut out the government, old. and then we're on the moon landing. I think he just out of nowhere. He's like, "You believe moon landing?" I'm like, "Yeah, I believe it's I checked my phone for one minute. We're we're talking about five year olds. Yeah, he's no, just, no, 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 no. Me he saw the that shit on TV at the age of five, and he's that's like, why yep, the, that's no, right. no, no. I'm telling like, you, bro. I'm not using that as evidence that I believe. I'm just saying that's why they got they got into it. 
right? Because you got Hector, one guy. What your who problem grew up. is is that you're saying that there's no fake videos. Because the or, problem or with people, right? Because here's the thing. So I, you I, can't. You have I to. You have to agree. That. You have to agree that there. Okay. I never said that. Okay. Okay. Listen to this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna connect you guys. I'm gonna connect you guys. One time. I'm gonna connect you guys. You have to admit that there might be fake video or fake photos of the moon landing. Sure, but that wasn't the question. No, no, no. The question that's, simply that's, was... That's his you, evidence. No, I understand. And I'm not discounting any of what he's saying. Okay, but saying, this is where the argument is. This is where you're un sure. not... You guys aren't in the same level of understanding for what the argument is. His it's argument better. is is that the... Uh, his argument is that the, there's... Cutter, cutter. His argument is that the evidence is there that there's some bullshit about the moon landing. Now, he's saying that because of that, there's no way the moon landing is happening. I don't agree with that. I agree that there's some fake shit that has happened. There's some fake video, fake photography that's out there um, in the Internet that has makes it look like it's all fake. But I think it somewhere between you two is what happened is they probably went to the moon. There's also some fake shit because they said they went to the moon like a bunch of times. No. Well, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. a bunch, but like twice. Or, only like no, like a few. Uh, just write it up. How many times have we been like, to the moon? Like twice, I think. <laughs> Zero times. I think one of those times was bullshit. Bro, they never went. I think once. they only showed once, but I don't uh, I don't know what to think, to be honest. No, they never went, bro. Five, five. They say five. Five is a lot, bro. Five is a lot, actually. Five is a lot. The only they said televised they five times. Yeah, they said they went to the move five times. G. Yeah, that's but what they like, said. The honest truth is, you get the only. I think they went back. once. I don't think they went back again. They might have went easy, right? And just they didn't show that one. No, they're really. just probably just chilling, dog. You know, it's like why? Why? The they system. just never went, and they just they fucking bullshit everybody. Maybe I'll yeah, Hector. Happy. Was that I, didn't, I was reading? I don't know, man. This moon landing is as real as your fucking <laughs> papers, bro. My fake. papers? Fake. Bro, if anyone got an fake papers, it's in this Canada. motherfucker. Listen, you're an American living in Canada. Listen, man. you're a fucking Iranian coming to Canada. You should probably be quiet so they don't God fucking. Goddamn Iranian. Gonna fucking hear the border secure. Just be like, bro, CBSA. they're my best friends. It's okay. Best friends, yeah, right. They can't do nothing to bro, me here. Fucking, how about fucking use the button as your best friend? Listen, no, I, got, I got big fingers, Push unless you're a little bitch ass fingers. All right, okay, relax. Don't feel guys, so, thumbs never grew since so grade nine. Look how sensitive he gets off of one thing. Please. What, do you owe me or what? No. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I feel like it'd be fun with these guys. Shab, let's give us some last thoughts, buddy. About what, man? Moon Linux fake. We already know that. Tower, Tower 7 didn't Tower fall. Tower 7 didn't fall. No, it, it didn't. It did fall, but it was planned. That's what it was. Right? You, you don't believe that either? No, I just bring up all the ones that people bring up. Yeah. Tower 7. He's just trying to get to you, bro. JFK. That's what it is. JFK. What else? <laughs> can't go get to me, Doc. JFK. What's the other, what's the other big ones? Martin Ooh. Luther King. The Lindbergh baby. Never got lost. What the fuck that is one. that? Nobody so, cares about that shit. <laughs> Charles Lindbergh was huge back in the day. He was almost president. No, Epstein. What? Oh, yeah, Epstein. He's still alive. Epstein's alive. Uh, Hitler, Hitler, uh, Hitler died in Argentina. That's right. Hitler died in Argentina. <laughs> I don't else, know that one. What else we got? Uh... uh the pharaohs. They're making the frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> the pharaohs and shit. It was a different. Uh, the Unaki were here. Unaki. That's, yeah. a, that's a good one. I that, like that's that. That, that, Unaki? that Unaki. That Unaki. Anunaki. Anunaki. That's what it was. How dare you? <laughs> how correct. Dare, how correct. Dare you correct us. Unaki. Just left like, it at Unaki just because ja we're bros. Japanese <laughs> eel. Yeah, I don't know about that shit, but I just know that Unaki shit seems interesting. Though, as, as stupid as it sounds, it it sounds like it sounds like a good novel to read. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But I feel it, like you want to be part alien. It'd be kind of sick, you know, just to hit up some alien pussy. Jesus, dude, it's not gonna be pussy. It's gonna be like, it's not gonna be what you think it is. It's gonna be some weird. Slip. Yeah, it's like some weird shit. Some slimy little people, slip. That's my one issue. We didn't talk about this last time, but my one issue. That's like that's like people, ninety percent of the bitches out here. People <laughs> thinking about like aliens and shit, and they're like, oh, like how many gender. Think, motherfucker, these aliens might come here and not have a concept for gender. They or, might just, or they might just know fuck on more. Like the reproductive system could not be even like two people getting together. They could just self reproduce. Hold on, hold you on, no hold idea. on. Beginning of the podcast, we start talking about those aliens. What happened? You guys said they got it was debunked. Debunked. How, it was debunked. Okay, so what was that? Uh, somebody had already presented these aliens supposedly to another. Like it was like four years ago. They already tried and it got debunked then. Mm. So it just it's just come up again. The only reason that... What are they coming up with these different? bodies, bro? You'll, no, it's the same bodies. That's why I got deep. Uh -huh. <laughs> the reason why it's big this time is because they actually presented it to, like, the Mexican Congress. And they're like, yo, we got aliens, bro. 
and it's like two guys in a fucking like they're like this and they're just in some fucking they're crib. like hey way yeah. we're Mexican yeah, yeah, yeah. we're aliens no mama's hey. way and then Julian brought up the whole thing about how it's a cake I saw that there's a meme about somebody slicing into the alien it's like it's a piece of... I think there might be aliens but they like they might be clear they don't look like fucking E.T. man okay yeah. if there's any aliens they don't look like that yeah I think Fuck they're like alien. clear so you wouldn't even yeah, I don't know. There's no way they just man. look humanoid. That's they're just clear. Ridiculous. Yeah, if they're they're there's lots of them and they're everywhere. That's what I was. That's what I'm. Th- that's basically what I'm talking about with Julians. It's not going to be in a way that we think of. We think of aliens in our own human like eyes. That we're like, oh, they don't look well, like we us. We think everything like or something like that's that. That's our frame of reference. Right? Well, that's that's where the that's where the scientists come into they play because they they can think the outside same. the box. That's where they think like differently. Yeah, these, they got these aliens they, might they be like wild imagination, like faking the fucking moon landing. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we're out, you bitches. <laughs>